Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So season 21 is over. I do have the rewards, but they were delayed, and I wanted to talk a little bit about why they were delayed. Kabam was busy banning and docking some alliances. Uh, what you see up there on the screen uh, is a list of alliances that were docked. Now, this does not mean that the entire alliance was cheating. The way that it goes is if any cheating was detected by any of the members, so that means just one person cheating and gets caught, the entire alliance is punished. Now, a lot of people were asking, is that fair? Um, I don't think there is a way to be completely fair and even uh, in this situation. Um, I've read a lot of suggestions uh, people had uh, on how to uh, fix this problem, but even the fixes seem to cause other issues. So I don't know how to fix this uh, issue, whether to just give them the points that uh, they would have gotten had they you know, won. I don't know if that's the best solution or not, because that also causes issues. So there is no perfect solution. And Kabam, they've chosen uh, one way that a lot of people don't agree with, uh, but you can't see all of them here. I don't have a link to the source. This was posted up in one of the chat groups uh, that I'm in. So I can scroll this up here and you can see wherever they got this from, they highlighted uh, because they were posting up um, this list and they were commenting on, I guess, that particular alliance on the forums. All right, so uh, that is all that I have for that. All right, so without further ado, let us find out how my alliance did. So let me close this out, pop open air server, and boom, there we are. All right, so we finished Platinum 3, rank 59. Now, if you watch my war videos, you know that uh, this is pretty much where we were expecting. We did boss rushes for the last couple of wars because we were secure uh, in Platinum 3. There was no way we were going to fall out of Platinum 3, and there was no way that we could have gotten Platinum 2. Even if we had won both those last wars, we would have just been a higher ranked Platinum 3. All right, so let's uh, see, take a look here. All right, so these are the rewards. And uh, you can see the juicy rewards for Master. All right. Uh, and then here we go with Platinum. Now, last season, we got Platinum 3. So we can see the difference in uh, the rewards here. So what we got for Platinum 3, we have 10,000 six-star shards. So that's a six-star that I'll be able to open. We have 20 thousand five star shards so that's another five uh another two five star crystals okay um we've got that t5 uh basic here very very nice and three t2 alphas now i have a bunch of these in my overflow so what this means is i'm gonna have to make a decision and rank somebody up uh either rank two or uh, a six star rank two or a um five star rank five because i'm trying to save my t4 basics uh to rank up other champions all right so that is where we placed those are the rewards uh expect to see uh another video uh this one will come out tomorrow and i have five uh mystic and science uh dual class crystals to open up now if this had not been delayed, I would have been able to get these and I would have been able to get another uh, Mystic and Science. But I will be getting uh, one featured to go along with those five crystals. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. That is how our season went. All the hard work. This is what we are working for. Uh, this is why, even though I hate Alliance War, I still do it for these rewards. Now, I don't know what we're going to do next uh, season. Uh, we're still discussing it. 
there are people who want to take an easy season, uh, do like boss rushes and, you know, maybe win if we can win. <clears throat> because those people who take the harder paths, you know, I don't take a hard path. But there are people that take those hard paths, like path nine, and they use a lot of resources and they need time to recuperate. You know, it, it takes a lot. Now, if they are spenders and they're willing to spend to get these rewards to push, that's all well and good. But they need some time to recuperate. And we do have some other people in the alliance that uh, don't spend. OK, so we may take it a little bit easy, maybe do some itemless wars, maybe um, use items if you want to. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the vote is still going on, so I don't know uh, how that's going to turn out. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about the docking? Do you um, agree with the way that Kabam is uh, handling this situation? Uh, bear in mind that it's a little different than um, when you find bots in the arena. In my opinion, it's easier to deal with the bots in the arena. If you remove 10 bots, you move people up. Five, you know, or 10 bots, 10 people that are below the cutoff will get the champion. For me, that's pretty straightforward and simple. They don't do that. Um, but in this case, it's a little different than that. And it's a lot more complicated. So let me know what you think. Take care and you all have a blessed day.